hello viewers in this video we are going to talk about uh, the dilemma which many of you must be having is uh, whether you should be breaking your fd to get gains of the higher fixed deposit interest which are in the market so if you must have observed recently the rate of interest uh, for fixed deposits in india have been increasing constantly and if you have opened an fd maybe one years two years three years back uh, the interest which you would have got um, must have been very less than what it you are getting today so with that in mind i think uh, we should get started um, so this is a uh, data which i have downloaded from uh, sbi website and i have looked at their last year 10 years rate of interest and as i told you today the rate of interest which you are getting is as high as 7% but few years back you were getting very very low rate of interest even like 4% 5% 5.1 0% so if the rate of interest are increasing year on year month on month uh, should be should you be uh, breaking your old fd and then creating a new fd on top of it so we are going to cover this in this video so uh, let's get started so what are some of the things which you should consider uh, while uh, you should be making that decision is first of all you need to be aware what is the start date of your fd and what is the end date of your fd when your when is your fixed deposit maturing uh, both these dates will uh, help you to make that uh, calculation whether you should be breaking your fd or not then the rate of interest at which you have got your fd at the existing rate will be an important factor in making the decision or not but be, please bear in mind that when you are going to break your current fixed deposit the bank is going to uh, penalize you uh, you for the reduced tenure for which you are keeping your fd you will have to pay a penalty a premature penalty so even though you may have purchased your fd at say 5% uh, two years back you will not get 5% you may end up getting 4% or 3.9% because you kept it for a shorter period of time uh, and then you should also for for you to do the computation of uh, maximizing your uh, interest you should also be aware of the interest which you are getting for the new fixed deposit uh, which you will be looking at so with that let's look at an example and in order for us to get this example we have this table of state bank of india uh, and this table shows the rate of interest historically for the last uh, close to 15 years uh, for state bank of india as of today from 15th uh, february 2023 uh, that these are the slab rates for fixed deposit for state bank of india the higher one is for 7% uh, the higher the highest rate of interest is for 7% when you keep it for a duration of 2 years to less than 3 years so if you keep it between 2 to 3 years state bank of india as of today is offering you 7% rate of interest and if you are a senior citizen uh, you will get a higher rate of interest as well so okay let's look at an example and try to make it clear for you uh, whether you should be making that decision or not so uh, uh, let's look at the example that the date of say the FD formation is 17 June. Uh, I opened the fixed deposit almost uh, two years back and the principal um, for which I booked the FD was 1 lakh rupee. Now what was the rate of interest of the original FD uh, on 17 June 2021 we'll have to go back and check here. So uh, for three years the rate of interest was 5.10% so let me key in 5.10%. And the tenure of the FD uh, was 36 months. I, I kept it for three years. Uh, and that's why for three years, the rate of interest is 5.10%. You can see uh, if I move here for three years, three years, uh, two years to less than three years. And for three years to less than five years, the rate of interest was 5.30%. So let me go and correct that value. Uh, now, um, as of today, uh, how much months have lapsed for this fixed deposit 12 months have lapsed and 12 months are remaining so now I need to make a, a calculation I need to make that judgment whether I should be breaking that every today or not so uh, how would I go about doing that calculation is uh, I opened the fixed deposit at 5.30 rate of interest uh, 
and if i don't uh, break the fixed deposit i will be getting 5.30 uh, rate of interest for the uh, 36 months so for every cell here is representing 6 months and that's why these 6 cells are representing 36 months so i will be getting a 5.30 rate of interest and the interest i will earn for the period if i were not to break it is 1 lakh 17192 rupees okay now but if i were to break the fd today then what will be the reduced rate of interest i will be getting for that i will have to go back and refer to this table so for 2 years 2 uh, years the rate of interest offered by the bank will be 5.10% it will not be 5.30 any longer because uh, the only it is only if it is between the duration of 3 to 5 years the bank will offer me a 5.30 but now since i am breaking my fd at 2 years the rate of interest offered to me will be 5.10% so i will go and enter the value here and the bank will also be uh, putting a penalty of 0.5% uh, because of a premature closure so the effective rate of interest i will get is 4.60% so if you look at this table uh, i am going to get 4.60% for the first 24 months and for the last two uh, for the fourth 24 months and for the last 12 months i will get a higher rate of interest which is in the market so then uh, what is the computation then the computation is the following that if i do not break the fd the interest that i will earn is 1 lakh 17192 rupees and if i were to break the fd i will get a minuscule uh, advantage i will end up getting an interest rate of 1 lakh 17500 41 rupees so i have also given the link to this calculator in the description as well if you want you can uh, punch in your principal the rate of interest of original fd uh, the total tenure for which you booked your fd and then the months lapsed uh, and very importantly you need to know the reduced rate for uh, closing your fd prematurely if you know this then you will be able to get the maturity value without breaking the fd and the maturity value after breaking the fd so if the after breaking the fd the value is higher than uh, not breaking then you should go ahead and break your fixed deposit however in some scenarios it might be the case that the maturity value of after breaking the fd will be lesser than what you would have got if you would have not broken the fd at all so in those cases you should not go ahead and break your fd at all all right so let's go friends uh, viewers so let's look at the example of when is the right time for you to go ahead and make that decision whether you should be breaking your fixed deposit or not so okay let's take an example that here is the principal the, the initially we had taken a duration of 36 months and we had got an original roi rate of interest of 5.30 uh, which was committed to us uh, by the bank Uh, but then after one month we decided to close so if we, after one month we decided to close the reduced rate of interest was 2.90% and after penalty we would have ended up paying 2.40% uh, but for the remaining 35 months uh, we would have got uh, 7% rate of interest so uh, if we would have not broken the fd we would have got a final return of 117193 rupees but if we would have uh, broken it then after maturity the final value would have been 122823 and then i have considered that if you have broken after one month two month three month uh, if you break after 35 months uh, at the original rate of interest would you turn out to be profitable or not so this chart is a reflection of that and what this chart is basically telling you is that early on uh, if you are if you have a fd which is uh, very very recent Uh, at a lower rate of interest then it will make sense for you to break that fd uh, and then uh, the red line shows that what is the interest you will earn if you end up breaking your fd uh, today so um, as time passes on your interest you will you will end up paying uh, lesser interest but if you end up breaking the fd which is very very close to maturity actually you should not be doing it because then you will end up Uh, facing a loss and this red line is actually showing you it goes below the blue line uh, because um, you get a lower rate of you get a lower rate of interest you also pay penalty and the higher rate of interest is not able to uh, justify the loss which you are making so 
the increased rate of interest which you are getting for a very short period does not compensate for the loss which you bear for the lower rate of interest so if you are above the blue line then it definitely makes sense for you to uh, go ahead and close your fd but if you end up being below the blue line then you will be facing a loss and how do you go about uh, understanding that this uh, calculator has been provided to you um, so what you have to do is you have to mention your original rate of interest and most importantly you have to provide your reduced rate of interest so if the reduced rate of interest say is 4.50 percent and the penalty uh, the the penalty is say uh, the penalty is uh, 0.5 percent so then you will end up uh, paying a lower rate of interest which uh, the calculator will automatically uh, calculate and it will tell you that after breaking the fd your interest is lesser than without breaking the fd so you should not go ahead and uh, you know break your fd so pretty much that's it guys hopefully you understand uh, how to go about taking your decision and if i were to just create a thumb rule for you uh, you need to break your fd if it's early on uh, you should go ahead and break your fd if it is very close to maturity i think you should avoid doing it because then you will end up uh, getting uh, interest lower than what you would have achieved if you would have not broken it and uh, it is also important that you look at the timing uh, try to complete one years two years three years of your fd and then break it so if you are at 11 months try to hold on to the fd for 12 months in order for you to get a higher rate of interest and then you go ahead and breaking it so you can maximize your returns as well hopefully this video is uh, helpful to you if you like it please subscribe to our channel and continue